Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm up today with a fun 12 by 12 layout for you. Now this is a bit of a special layout. It is actually for an online crop uh, that Jess and I are hosting in the Facebook group that we uh, manage, which is the Scrap Timber Facebook group. Uh, normally we really only do anything in that group during the month of September, which is when we have our massive Scrap Timber series with Laura Alberts. But we're trying something a bit new and we're doing an online crop. It's free. It's just running in the Facebook group um, and it's running from Monday, uh, sorry, Friday the 10th of March through to Monday the 13th of March. So it's this weekend while you're watching it. That is Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So that's Melbourne time, uh, but um, nothing. Or there's only a couple of things that are actually live. Um, everything else is just posted in the group and people can participate. There's some amazing prizes. There's 10 challenges throughout the weekend um, and it's going to be heaps of fun. So today's video is for the first challenge um, and that challenge is called Floral Memories and it is to scrapbook um, using sort of Rosie Studios signature style which is florals and they are sponsoring the prize for this challenge so if that sounds like something that you might be interested in come on over to the Scrap Timber Facebook group I will leave a link in the description box down below and I want to say a big hello to those of you who are already in the Scrap Timber Facebook group and might be watching this video um, on the day that we've released our challenge so I hope you guys are going to have an amazing weekend scrapping with us. Uh, the challenges are open for a week. So um, if you watch this video and it's, you know, after the weekend has passed, um, the challenges are actually open for a full week. Uh, so um, come on over to the Facebook group and everything will be in there. There's albums to put your layouts in and things like that. So um, yeah, we'd love for you to join us. And as I said, Rosie Studio has sponsored this particular challenge. And so it's only fitting that I use Rosie Studio products. So this is the By Starlight collection by Rosie Studio. I'm not sure if it's still available. It is one of the newer collections, but it did come out last year, I think. Um, and it's beautiful. This is the first time I've used it. <laughs> so I'm cracking into it. Um, and it's really lovely. It's sort of blues and purples and as the name suggests by Starlight, it's more of a kind of nighttime evening theme. So there's just those beautiful kind of darker, deeper colours, which I love. I love blues and navies um, and it just works so well. This collection is really lovely. Um, and for those of you, particularly from Australia, who have had Rosie Studio when it was out in our reject shops here rebranded. Um, the paper, I am very pleased to report, uh, the 12 by 12 paper is really nice and thick, like a normal um, scrapbooking cardstock, maybe slightly thinner than some of the regular cardstocks, perhaps similar to um, the paper pad kind of thickness of card, which are not necessarily as thick as the individual um, 12 by 12 papers you can purchase but still nice and thick beautiful and sturdy for a full page 12 by 12 layout so particularly pleased about that um, really lovely uh, products as always so as I said I am creating this layout for that challenge so I have of course the challenge is to use florals in a layout so I'm using a lot of florals in this layout it is a lovely picture of my mum and dad if you don't mind, all dressed up. Um, Dad is part of the Masonic Lodge uh, here in Australia and so he's in his suit uh, and mum's in a lovely black evening dress. I don't know what they were doing. They're at some lodge function. <laughs> um, but it's night time, although they're inside, but it's still night time. And so I just thought that this darker palette of the By Starlight collection would just be really lovely. Um, and so I'm using not a heap of the collection. I used four 6x6 papers and then the one full 12x12 paper. And I didn't kind of want any scraps. So I actually matted my photo um, in the 12x12, uh, sorry, in the 6x6 papers. And then with the little leftover strip, I actually added that sort of onto the background um, just mainly because I didn't want I didn't want any scraps of paper lying around that is honestly the main reason um so I'm popping up some of my florals to pop onto the photo I did pop up my photo on foam as well um, and then I'm just layering up really I'm just layering creating my clusters I've got three clusters going on well two at the moment but I will have a third um, which is obviously going to go on the right hand side of my photo uh, at the top of the photo um, and I've got three little 
tiny word strips that are going into each cluster and then I've also got some hearts so I kind of went through the collection I pretty much got most of the collection um, so they have an individual florals pack which they're doing a lot more of Rosie Studio are doing a lot more of with their collections now they're creating floral packs which I am all for because I love florals I put florals on all layouts no matter who the photos are of because I am very much a fan of florals um, and so yeah this is the perfect challenge for me I'm not gonna lie <laughs> um, I really do enjoy some good florals now I'm trying to work out where to put this little tiny word strip so I end up kind of a little bit tucking in under some of the florals um, so I'm yeah popping one into each cluster and then I am going to work on my top cluster and then I'm just going to add my title and we'll be nearly all done. Uh, so as I said, make sure if online crops are your thing or you want to come and hang out with us and you're watching this video as I've made it live, um, definitely come and join the Facebook group. I'll leave a link down below. Um, we'd love to have you. It's always nice to get inspiration um, and we've got lots of fun sponsors for the weekend. Um, as I said, this particular challenge is sponsored by Rosie Studio, so I will leave them linked in the description box down below as well so you can go and check them out. They're a New Zealand company if you haven't heard from them before, uh, but they do ship internationally. Nationally. Um, and then I know they have uh, there's a lot of retailers kind of internationally who stock them as well uh, so definitely check them out they have beautiful collections and they release them really frequently um, they have a super active uh, social media as well um, and Alice one of their designers is always releasing beautiful um, inspiration pieces uh, with the collection so there's definitely they're super active and they make some beautiful things so definitely go and check them out um, and I'll leave everything linked. Uh, but yeah, the challenge, just a reminder, particularly if you're watching this from the link in the Scrap Timber Facebook group, the challenge is just to create a layout using florals. Um, that's the challenge or use florals on a project. doesn't have to be a layout, any project, use florals. There will be an album for you to put your um, completed project in, in the Scrap Timber Facebook group. And that is where we will be drawing the winner from. Um, so definitely uh, go into the group to add your layout to the album there. Um, so you can be in with the chance to um, win a prize from Rosie Studio, which I believe is one of their new collections that they released in February. Um, they've been super generous and we're so grateful. Um, this collection had these enamel shapes. So there were stars, little moons and hearts. And so I'm actually adding hearts in um, so each of my clusters now actually has six hearts. <laughs> so each of the clusters has two small clusters of three. That sounds confusing. There's a lot of hearts in these clusters. Um, but they're super cute, these enamel shapes. They're sparkly and they're really lovely. Um, so I, I wanted to use them. <laughs> so I'm adding them in. And I did add that little moon at the top just because it's a nighttime layout. Um, and I just thought it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I did plan my title already because I don't like faffing around um, with thickers when I'm on camera. So my title is all dressed up. Um, so I'm just going to add that in. And then I am going to come in with some splatters just to finish off this layout. So I wanted it um, to kind of look like the night sky, which I, is, is where I got, you know, the vibe I got from this paper um, was definitely a sunset or a sunrise if you flipped it around the other way but I'm going with the sunset the sun is setting um, and so I wanted to add some white Liquitex ink um, to make it kind of look a bit like a night sky so that's what I'm doing I'm just giving it a little roll to get the pigment all mixed up in that Liquitex um, acrylic ink in white uh, and I'm just going to splatter it using my fan brush now my fan brush is really small and that means it creates really small um, splatters but I think it works really nicely for um, a really subtle but well covered splatter if that makes sense like there's a lot of it um, but it's just really nice and small there's not, not big uh, splotches everywhere so I think it's nice and subtle even though you know there's a lot of splatters there <laughs> hopefully that made sense everything will be linked in the description box down below come along and join us in the scrap timber facebook group um, if this crop is a success we look forward to hosting you know another one or two in the year here is a close-up of my layout thank you again to rosie studio and we will see you in our next video thanks guys bye